Yeah, a little bit more comfortable this time, you know. It's um, always exciting getting that call. This is where you want to be. So, um, yeah, I feel a little bit more comfortable around the guys. Uh, having Pelts here too and Max and the familiar faces that I spent a lot of time with. So, yeah, it's just uh, excited to be here. Well, I'm sure there's an element of kind of wide-eyed in the first game. And, uh, does that change when you get maybe a, a second game too? That, that same level of comfort maybe just in terms of the on-ice portion of it too? Yeah, I would say for sure just getting that first game, the jitters, kind of the solo lap and all that stuff kind of yeah. out of the way. And then... Also, just kind of being in my second year pro, you know, going through another training camp, uh, a few more preseason games there. Uh, um, you kind of get a feel like what the NHL game is like. So, yeah, just being a little more comfortable out there. Well, and guys have talked about, you know, the fact that you try and play a similar system, you know, in the AHL, uh, you know, right from uh, kind of training camp on. I mean, how much does that help you? And just the style of play and just knowing the expectations, too. Yeah, the coaching staff down with the Wranglers does a great job just um, kind of emulating the same systems and preaching the same terminology that they use up here. So it's pretty seamless transition, you know, go over a little bit of stuff that they do different here a little bit, but uh, yeah, for the most part, it's a pretty easy transition. And a little bit of family coming in too, I understand. I mean, how special is that to you know, have some, some people in the uh, in the crowd here tonight that, that mean a lot to you in the journey? Yeah, last year for the debut is kind of COVID was still lingering around a bit in, in Canada, so um, no one was able to make it to that one. So when I heard I was going to go in, they were I think it could have been anywhere in the States or anywhere, honestly, in the, in the NHL, and they probably would have tried to make their way there. So I'm excited that they can be here tonight. Yeah, a couple of a couple of miles in the in the car, no big deal. Yeah, nothing like Yeah, nothing. they're not used to. My parents have been lugging me around since I was a kid, so they're good. Is there, is there an element, though, of that, the, the appreciation in terms of just what they, you know, those hours, the driving, and exactly what you just talked about, kind of the, you know, the sacrifice that the family makes to, to, to allow you to play in the NHL? Yeah, um, my parents have made... Uh, more sacrifices and probably a lot uh, to get me here. So uh, yeah. for them to be here tonight and for them to experience that tonight will be, uh, I'm sure, something that they'll remember forever. Where are they coming from? Uh, back home in uh, South Dakota. They are coming straight from there in a car? Yep, a driving up. They drove about halfway last night. I think they finished the drive this morning. So I think they're probably getting here right about now. And it's not just them. It's a whole cast of other people coming? Uh, yeah, my fiance and then uh, my brother and his wife. Um, uh, my fiance's parents and then my uh, billet parents. So, uh, yeah, we got a good crew coming tonight. Yeah. Section. Yeah. It's like a do over, right? Because last year they couldn't do this and now they finally get a chance to. They'll, they'll just pretend it's your debut. Yeah, for them, probably it is uh, more my debut in their eyes because they didn't get to be there in person. So, uh, yeah. won't have the sole lap or anything for that for them to experience. But um, I think they'll be happy with me just being out on the ice in the NHL.